Hello friends, welcome back to Signer Web YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to import Excel data in MySQL database. Suppose you have a data in Excel format and you want to import that data into the MySQL database. So you must have to see this video till the end and you will get the idea how to import Excel data in MySQL database. Before we are going for a coding, let's check the output first. So you will get the idea how it's work, right? We already created that demo. So first we will check that demo and we'll going for a coding. Okay. So here we provide one template. So you also need to create one template and that template you need to enter some data, right? I just open that template and here you can see. So here you need to enter some sample data. Suppose we need to change some data. So I have created some sample data here. Now I simply save this data. Now what you need to have? Now simply you need to select that template here. Suppose we have already set data in that template. Now upload. Now once you click on upload that data store into the database. So here you will get one message like three records has been inserted. Thank you. Right. I also now also we check that data inserted or not. Here you can see that the data inserted in this table. Right. So here you can see now again we'll upload it and check that data inserted or not. Let's click on upload. Three records. Now I also refresh that table. See here are uh, another three rows will created. So this is how this demo will work. Now, how is it possible or how is it working? Now, step by step, we will see this. Now, simply step one is what you need to create uh, this table. I already created that table. We here you can see that table already we have created. So you also need to create this type of table. So step one is that. Now step two, you need to create one form tag and inside the form tag you need to ta take one input type is equal to file and there is one button like upload. Here you can also see we take one input type is equal to file and take one button like upload. So simply you need to copy paste this code into your one PHP file or some file like import Excel underscore view dot PHP, right? I already created this file. So I have uh, created this file here. Now, now step three, you need to create one function like a save entry. Here we are using a coding letter framework. That's why we create one controller and inside the controller that code we need to copy paste. But if you are using simple PHP, then skip this part. Okay. We are using a coding letter framework. That's why we need to declare a controller file. And inside the controller file, you need to copy paste this code. Right. Now. Okay. Now, step four is what? You need to create one folder like uploads. Right. This folder also need to create inside your project. That folder already created in this project. So here you can see that folder we have created. And also you must have to remember you also provide some rights on that folder. So I already provided all the rights on that folder. And why we create this folder? You know, 
you have a question like uh, why we created this folder because whenever we upload any file first that file store inside this folder and after that process that file before we are uploading or importing import any data so that's why we create this folder and store that file and after that that file will be accessed for processing right so simply you need to create that folder okay also also we will discuss this uh, folder name and also we'll use that folder name while we are going for a further coding now step 5 this is a final logic or this is a final code of import excel data into the excel file now step 5 is what you need to create one function like save entry here we are using a coding letter framework that's why we created this function if you are using simple php you don't need to create uh, this function you simply write this below code inside your import.php file right so i also created that model file so if you are using a coding letter framework then you need to create a model file right inside 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 the model file here you can see we write it down this code for import excel data now step by step we will see how is it working now if you are using, using simple php then you need to copy paste this code from here right so simply now here you can see include two files like uh, excel underscore reader dot php spreadsheet reader dot php now those two file or another some supported library i have uh, uploaded on my server so you can download that library and code from there once you upload those file you need to include that file here right now here you can see we create a one variable why we created this variable because we perform some validation whichever you have upload that file is it xls or xls x for that purpose we create a one variable and that variable will check here so inside this if condition we have checked that a file is xls or xls x right now is it file is valid then inside this so here you can see we have upload that file which you have selected from here whichever file you have selected here that file will be uploaded in this folder so that's why we created that folder like uploads right which we have already created folder like uploads so these two line will be used to upload our row file or template file or your excel data file right now once you upload that file inside that folder now we need to process or we need to read that data one by one now here you can see we have created one object like reader and inside this object we have a passed that our uploaded file part and after that you can see this is a predefined function reader sheets by using this function you will get a total number of sheet now now this is the main code for read the data line by line by using for each or for loop so simply you need to copy paste this code and you must have to remember here zero it means your column one and one means your column two it means in this excel this is a zero this is one and this is two so this is how we'll 
store that data in one variable once we store data in variable now here you can see that data i have inserted in my one table so this is how we insert data line by line so if you are using a simple php so you need to pass that variable inside your insert query so this is how you have to insert data into your table so this is a simple code or this is a simple logic to store data inside the table by using php or coding narrative framework or this is a simple row count which we have a display after uploading that data inside the table so this is some message and redirect page so that code is easy and if file is invalid that uh, code will be work like please select valid file so this is how this code will work right so if you have any query while setting this code please comment us and also we uploaded so many blog in our website so you can follow our website like www.signerweb.com so you will get so many solution from our website and also i hope you will like our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to comment please comment once so if you have a comments then i will motivate and make so many video in future also so i hope you comment us and also subscribe our channel so thanks for watching and bye bye